Good day, my dear students. This day, I'm going to present to you the third lesson of our module, which is the Values Development and Citizenship Training. Values Development and Citizenship Training are two important aspects that a Filipino must acquire. With these two aspects, people can become agents of change in society. Both of these has significant part in human person's life for it is there or it is in there that people can be of help in their aspirations for country's progress and development. Part also of this lesson is the preamble of the 1987 Philippine Constitution which is the introductory statement in the document that dictates that the superior authority lies in the hands of the people. The Constitution is considered as the heart and center of all existing laws, statutes, bills, and other old legislative endeavors that provides people a perfect chance to live a secure and harmonious life. Furthermore, since of nationalism and patriotism is also given emphasis in this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to first define and expound the nature and philosophical values of being a Filipino. Second, cite popular Filipino values of good citizenship and third relate the concepts discussed to real life situations so yung mga objectives na ito ito yung magiging gabay natin kung paano tayo matututo paano natin matututunan ang buong lesson na uh, ipipresent ko sa inyo ngayong araw so, I hope you will enjoy and you will have your understanding on the lesson tree of our module which is the Values Development for Citizenship Training. So, let's go to the discussion part. Let us first discuss the preamble of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. The preamble of the 1987 Constitution states we the sovereign Filipino people imploring the aid of Almighty God in order to build a just and humane society and establish a government that shall embody our ideals and aspirations promote common good conserve and develop our patrimony and secure to ourselves, our posterity, the blessing of independence and democracy under the rule of law, under regime of truth, justice, freedom, love, equality, and peace to ordain and promulgate this constitution. You can see this in the very first part of the 1987 constitution. This preamble actually is the preliminary part of the Constitution. It summarizes the entire philosophy, historical facts of the statute, and the given constitutional rights and privileges of every Filipino citizen. It is also written in the preamble that the center of people's trust is in the hands of the Almighty Father who will guide Filipinos in all their undertakings. So talagang binibigay natin lahat sa Panginoon kung anuman yung magiging kapalaran no, ng ating bansa. Sa Kanya tayo humuhugot ng lakas. Yung ginawa natin mga batas, ito ay naaayon sa kung ano ang kagustuhan ng ating Panginoon na mangyari sa kanyang bayan. 
Next, we have Filipino values in the community. During the NSDP sessions that discuss the different Filipino characteristics and Filipino citizenship values, an understanding of the Filipino culture and Filipino value system was explained. It reiterated that actions, decisions, and manner and individual acts and things can be attributed to the values they were taught and practiced since their birth. For this chapter, it will discuss the different values that are exemplified in the social setting, especially in the community. It is better to keep it in mind that these values are very essential in bringing forth changes and progress in the community. These values can be an important instrument in influencing the people in the community towards productive change and development. Below are the several values that can help in bringing together people for a common goal and advocacy. Number one, pakikisama or kamaradiri refers to an interpersonal relationship where people are friendly with each other. To be with someone and to get along with each other indicates basic human friendliness and affinity. It is a basic tendency for Filipinos and is expressed in their private lives, their public workplaces, and in their relationship with their neighbors. Filipinos believe that they live, they live and act together with co-equals and consider it only natural that the consideration they show other will be reciprocated. So, people show a strong tendency to help, share, and cooperate with this they are with. So, tayo mga Pilipino, mahilig tayo sa pakikisama. Lahat na lang ng mga pamaraan natin, ginagawa natin sa pakikisama. Kasi, uh, kasama rin, uh, kasi kasama ito sa ating kultura. It's in within us. It's in within our culture. Marunong talaga tayo sa pakikisama. Magaling tayo sa pakikisama. Kaya yung mga ibang, taga-ibang bansa, gusto nila na nandito sila kasi yung mga Pilipinas talaga napakagaling sa pakikisama. Second, we have familial or, or close family ties. Filipinos are said to value and take good care of their family. Genuine concern for the family is manifested in the honor and respect given to parents and elders, in the support and care extended to children, and in the great sacrifices one endure for the welfare of the family. This family orientation makes every member develop a feeling of belongingness and sense of safety and security. Filipinos really are family-oriented country. No? Yung meron nga tayo sa ating bahay, kahit nandyan yung parents natin, nandyan din yung mga kapatid natin, kahit nag-asawa na yung mga kapatid natin, nandyan pa rin sila. Kasi we are family-oriented uh, country nga. At saka mas gusto natin na nandyan tayo, buo tayo sa isang pamilya, marami tayo kasi masaya. Yun kasi ang orientation ng mga Filipino. Iba sa ibang mga lahi, kasi yung mga ibang lahi, pagka edad mo ng 18 years old, kailangan mo nang bumukod sa iyong pamilya o sa iyong parents. Kasi gusto nila na mamuhay ka na sa sarili mong pamamaraan, dumiskarte ka na. Pero dito sa Pilipinas, iba. Kasi kahit may asawa na yung anak, nandyan pa rin siya sa poder ng kanyang parents. At saka tinutulungan sila hanggang sa pagdating ng araw ay makakasurvive na sila ng sarili nilang pamumuraan. Ganun talaga sa, Pilip sa Pilipinas. Third is hospitality. Refers to the warm welcome that the Filipino gives to visitors who come to his and her home, especially strangers. Filipinos tend to create relationship and open their homes regardless of any stereotypical biases. They are easy to get along 
with and treats them as though they were family members. Ito talaga napaka-tindi sa mga Pilipino. Napagaling natin sa pagbibigay ng pag-alaga sa ating mga bisita. Dito nga sa Mindanao, for example, sa atin sa Mindanao, pag mayroon tayong mga bisita, talagang yung pinakamabango at yung hindi pa nagagamit na mga kagamitan, pinapagamit natin sa ating mga bisita. Ganun tayo ka, ka welcome sa kanila. Kahit sino, kahit anong klaseng tao, kahit ibang lahi, kahit hindi natin kilala. Dahil sa ating pagka-hospitable, ganun tayo. Binibigyan natin ng halaga yung mga bisita. Next, we have Damayan System. Refers to the sympathy for people who suffered lost and in unfavorable situations. Filipinos tend to express their sympathy very easily and pull people in their intimate circle to comfort and support. Ganito talaga sa Pilipinas. Nagdadamayan tayo sa oras ng mga ilanan. Minsan nga may kakilala ko nung may isang pamilya na talagang wala na silang bigas. Tsaka yung isang pamilya naman sa kapitbahay, mayroon silang dalawang kilo lang na bigas. Yung dalawang kilo, supposedly, gagamitin ng isang pamilya yon para sa kanilang pagkain sa buong araw. Pero dahil nakita nila yung isang pamilya na walang pagkain, binigay nila yung isang kilong bigas doon sa kanilang kapitbahay para lang may makain. Ganon tayo. Nagtutulungan tayo. Kahit minsan may mga simpleng mga away, pero pagdating ng araw na nangangailangan yung ating kapwa, talagang mabilis tayong tumutulong. Nagbabayanihan tayo. Yan ang isa sa mga magandang values na nabubuo natin o nabuo natin dito sa ating bansa. Napakaganda talagang values na yan. Next is we have flexibility and adaptability. Filipinos can keep up with whatever life threw at them. They deal with the challenges and changes in their everyday lives as it happens. They easily conforms to the situation as well as in dealing with the unexpected. This is the ability of the Filipinos to adjust to the norms of other groups, to attain a smooth and harmonious relationship. This is exemplified during disaster when we're in Many families are displaced in evacuation centers and need to cope with the hard times. Ganon tayo kahit kahit ano mang mangyayari, kahit mayro man tayong na-experience na iba't ibang klase ng kalamidad, iba't ibang problema na naranasan natin sa ating buhay, napakabilis natin, napaka-flexible natin, no? Mabilis tayo maka-cope up. Ganon tayo mga Pilipino. Kaya tinatawag ang Pilipino na mga angkan ng matatapang. Kasi matapang tayo humarap sa hamon ng buhay. Kahit gaano tayo kahirap, pinipilit natin makasurvive. Kasi ganun tayo. Kasi kasama yan sa ating kultura. Next is resiliency. Nothing can keep the Filipino down even in dire situation. Filipinos always find a reason to laugh to the difficulties and proceed with their lives. This is the ability to recover and regain readily one's particular state and recover without intervention. This can be summed up with the phrase to rise from the rubble. One of the best example is nangyari sa Leiti yung sa Bagyo Nilanda at saka sa ibang parte pa ng Abisayas. Alam natin, napakahirap ng dinanas ng ating mga kababayan doon dahil napakarami ang buwis ng kanilang buhay dahil sa Bagyo Nilanda. Pero kung titignan natin after sa nangyari sa Yolanda, nakikita pa rin natin yung ganda ng itik ng mga Pilipino na pagkatapos ng unos 
ay natuto silang bumangon at lumaban at mamuhay ng panibagong buhay sa kanilang sarili. Ganon ka-resilient ang mga Pilipino. Kasama yan sa kultura natin. Kahit nga may namatayan, after na mailibing yung kanilang minamahal sa buhay, pumabalik tayo sa ating sarili at nagkakaroon tayo ng lakas na bumangon kahit sa mga unos na nangyayari sa ating buhay. Pinat- pinapatatag nito ang ating sarili na maging malakas kasi o upang sa pagdating ng mga panibagong unos sa ating buhay ay marunong na tayong lumaban marunong na tayong harapin ang mga unos na yan na hindi na walang anumang buhay ang nalalagas ganun ang Filipino next is nationalism nationalism is a belief or political ideology that involves an individual identifying with or becoming attached to one's nation. It is the feeling of oneness among the people of a certain country, a state of awareness that a nation does exist and is made of people who owe allegiance not only to the tribe, clan, or region, nor to any religious or political identity. Simply, it is the devotion and love of country with all its inhabitants. In the article of in the article by Luz Liane Reyes of OurHappySchool.com entitled 10 Modern Ways to Express Filipino Nationalism, she presented how Filipinos can express their nationalistic pride. So, paano ba natin i-express yung ating nationalistic pride? Number one, respect the Philippine flag and value the Filipino identity. Being Filipinos, we should respect our Philippine flag and its purpose. The history and value of this flag are connected to the freedom we have today. Encourage our fellow men to participate and respect our flag and its anthem and even our different symbols, they provide us our identity as Filipinos or citizens to the beautiful Republic of the Philippines. Karamihan sa atin dito, hindi na nire-respeto yung flag. Pag kumakanta nga tayo ng national anthem, hindi na maganda yung ating lyrics. Iba na yung ating lyrics. No, isa yan sa mga di magandang nagawa ng ating mga kabataan sa ngayon. Kaya, we are encouraged to respect our flag. Yung ibang, ang, ibang bansa, kapag ginaganta yung kanilang anthem, talagang humihinto sila. Sumasabay sila sa pag-awit. Kumakanta sila. Kasi pag mumabagsak yung flag natin, parang bumagsak din yung ating bansa. Yung mga gera nga sa iba't ibang mga bansa, yung flag yung pinaka-importante talaga na maitayo. Yung nangyari sa Marawi, pagkatapos ng gera, itinaas ng mga sundalo natin ang Philippine flag, simbolo ng victory. Second, be a productive citizen. Be industrious and make ourselves productive not only for ourselves but for our country as well serve the people serve our nation what um nagiging productive ba tayo nagserve ba tayo sa ating bansa karamihan sa mga kikita natin umagang umaga pa lang nalalasing na yung iba nagbibisyo yung iba pinipilit na magulang na mag-aral pero hindi nag-aaral Ayaw mag-aral. O nagiging lazy na ba tayo? How can we be productive if we are lazy? Kaya nga ang challenge sa ating mga estudyante, kahit sa ganitong panahon ng pandemya, kailangan natin matuto 
kailangan nating magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. Kailangan nating mag-aral. Kailangan nating aralin yung mga lessons ng ating mga teachers. Bakit? Kasi may learnings dyan. Pag natututo tayo, pag nakapagtapos tayo ng pag-aaral at nakatulong tayo sa ating pamilya at sa bayan, yan ang isang paraan para maging isang productive citizen of the nation. Pero pag nagre tayo, lagi tayong nagre sa bansa natin. O kahit estudyante ka, palagi kang nagre sa dami ng lessons na ibinabato sa iyo ng iyong guru dahil sa online online class o sa blended learning class. Paano ka maging, paano ka aangat? Paano ka matututo? Paano ka magiging productive? Paganyan ang iyong ugali. So this is a challenge, especially to our youth of today, to all our students, sa mga kabataan. Challenge ito sa atin. Paano tayo magiging productive? Kasi pag productive tayo, nakakatulong tayo sa pag-unlad ng ating bayan. Kaya isa yan sa mga challenge sa atin na kailangan maging mo, uh, fully motivated tayo sa pagtupad ng ating responsibilidad sa ating sarili, sa ating pamilya, at sa ating bayan. Third, be aware of the issues in our country. We must be aware and updated on the significant issues happening in our country. Extend help to the needy. Philomene, especially the victims of disasters like typhoons, floods, and the like. Ito, challenge din ito sa atin. Kasi marami sa ating mga kabataan ngayon hindi na focus sa kung anong mga nangyayari sa ating bayan. Focus na sila kung paano nila Paano sila maging legendary sa mobile legend? Paano sila makakapunta ng ibang bansa like Korea? Kasi nanonood sila palagi ng Koreans. Lagi na lang sila busy sa TV, sa cellphone, sa mga social media uh, platforms. Supposedly, tinitingnan natin yung anong mga kaganapan na nangyayari sa ating bayan at saka kung paano tayo makakatulong. Kaya sinachallenge tayo dito sa NSTP program natin na maging aware tayo sa mga issues ng ating bansa. Kagaya ngayon, napakahirap ng buhay dahil sa pandemyang COVID-19. Alam ba natin ang mga issues na yan? So kailangan alam natin kasi mayroon tayong mga Mayroong mga, mga executive orders from the national government to the local governments na kailangan natin sundin. Para sa atin matitigas ang ulo, hindi sinusunod yung mga health protocols. Kaya anong nangyari sa ating bansa? Nasa top 20 na tayo sa may pinakamaraming kaso ng COVID-19. Sumasabay na tayo sa Italy. Kaya dapat aware tayo sa kung anong mga nangyayari sa ating bansa. Sa, sa isyo ng COVID-19, dapat alam natin yung mga health protocols para maiwasan natin yung sakit na yan. Kasi pag nagkaroon ka niyan, napakahirap. Napakahirap kasi may mga discrimination siya, natatakot yung mga tao sa inyo na lumapit. Madis, madidiscriminate ka, makakukwarantin ma- ka, mag-isa ka na lang. Kaya, we have to be aware what are the issues of our country. Issues about human rights violations, issues about gender equality, issues about environmental protection. Yan, dapat alam mo yan. Alam natin yan, dapat. Pero kung busy lang tayo sa mga iba't ibang bagay na sarili lang natin kapag ka nang iniisip, mag-isip ka na sa sarili mo. Number four, Stand proud for every Filipino achievement. Filipinos is globally competitive in many aspects. They are proud to be a Filipino and for the honors they bring to our country, they unite every Filipino for their achievements. We can be proud of Filipinos like Manny Pacquiao, the Ascals football team, the Gilas Filipinas, 
basketball team, and many more. So, kailangan maging proud tayo sa ating mga kapwa Pilipino na umangat sa ibang bansa. Kagaya nila na Marcelito Pumoy, yun, yun sila ng Manny Pacquiao. Nakikita natin yung kanilang mga achievements. We must be proud of them. Kasi minsan, eh, hindi tayo proud sa kanila. Eh. Galit pa tayo pag hindi nila, hindi nila kukuha yung champion uh, na trophy. Yung mga iba, nagsisilos. Yung mga sinasabi, mas magaling sila sa kanila. Tapat, hindi tayo ganyan. We have to be proud of our own uh, isig ka Pilipino, sabi pa ng ano, Bisaya, isig ka Pilipino. We have to be proud of who we are. Yung mga talents na nandito sa atin. Yung mga talents na meron tayo. Yung mga talents na nag umaangat at uh, nag excel sa iba't ibang sa iba't ibang bansa. We have to be proud of them. Kasi pag proud tayo sa kanila, naging proud na rin tayo sa ating bansa. Next, we have patronize and support our own products. The Philippines has rich resources to create quality goods and products. The manpower services we provide are also globally competitive. Our economy will improve more if we ourselves if we ourselves patronize our own products, which characterize our creativity, resourcefulness, and industry. Yung mga products natin, hindi naman natin talaga pinapatronize. Marami dyan. Ang pinapatronize natin yung taga-ibang bansa. Isa yan sa mga challenge na. So we have to patronize our own products. We have to support it. I-promote natin. Hindi natin ipopromote yung mga products ng ibang bansa. Yung sarili natin. Next, we have preserve the Filipino culture. Philippines is rich in various colorful cultural elements. They are our identity. Be proud and preserve the culture we have for they are our treasure. We have to keep them for future, for the future generation. Nandyan pa ba yan sa atin sa ngayon? Tingnan mo yung ating mga kabataan sa ngayon. Iba na. Halimbawa, sa sayaw, iba na yung sinasayaw nila. Kahit sa kanta, iba na yung kinakanta nila. Supposedly, yung mga yung mga practices natin sa Pilipinas, yun ang pinapatronize natin. Para ma-preserve yan. Mga Pilipinong sayaw, mga Pilipinong kanta, mga luma, yung mga kundiman, yan ang pinip pinipreserve natin. Yung ating mga ka kaugalian, kasama din yan. Kasi, yan yung ating identity. Yan, dyan tayo nagbuhay. Galing yan sa ating mga ninuno. Kaya kailangan natin i-preserve yan. Huwag natin unahin yung mga ibang kultura o, ibang, o yung mga kultura ng ibang lahi. Kasi being a Filipino, kasama yan sa ating pamamahal sa ating lahi. Yung nationalism na tinatawag natin. Yung pag-preserve sa Filipino culture, kasama, natin, kasama yan. Next is, respect everyone and value our tradition. Filipinos are very courteous and respectful. Even in modern times, many Filipinos show and value their noble norms and traditions. So we Filipinos must continue to exercise these good traditions like respecting our elders and others by using po at upo, being hospitable and being religious. Kasama na rin sa tradisyon natin yan. Kasama na sa kultura natin yan. Kasama na sa nakaugalian natin yan. Kaya sana, challenge, ito, challenge na naman ito sa ating mga kabataan. Kasi may mga kabataan na pag 
Pagaling sa eskwela, pag umuwi sa kanilang bahay, wala na, walang pansin. Kasi mas pinapansin nila yung kanilang mga gadgets kaysa sa pagmamahal o pagbigay ng pansin sa kanilang pamilya. Nawawala na yung kaugalian natin. Nawawala na yung magandang tradisyon na sinimulan ng ating mga ninuno. Kaya sa mga kabataan ngayon, this is a challenge to each one of you. Ispituhin natin yung mga elders natin, parents natin, mga lolo natin, yung mga teachers natin, yung nakakatanda sa atin. Yun ang challenge. Number seven, speak, uh, number eight, speak out our language. Using our own language is manifesting and preserving our national identity. It is our unique means of communication, communicating and interacting with our fellow men. Our language is important tool to achieve further unity and national development. So, kailangan gamitin natin yung ating language. We have to practice it every time na may pag-communicate tayo. But of course, in academic perspective, we have English as the medium of communication. Why? Makatulong din itong English sa ano kapag ay ipag-communicate tayo sa ibang lahi. Pero of course, our top priority here is our own language. We have to speak our own language despite of knowing other languages. Yan ang challenge sa atin. No, pero kung puro na lang English, wala na Filipino, hindi naman siguro maganda. Yung pamilya nga ng isang boxer na si Nonito Donaire, doon sila naninirahan sa ibang bansa sa USA. Pero kung titingnan mo, bisaya yung ginagamit ng language. It's a sign of respect to our Filipino language. Number nine is remember and commemorate our heroes sacrifices for our country. There were many Filipinos who died for our democracy, freedom, and independence. Some fought using their pens and tongues, while some used the power of their arms and their weapons. Each had their own way of showing their love and respect to our country. In today's generation, let us value and treasure our hero sacrifices and devotion for our country. May tanong ako. May nakikilala pa ba tayong hero sa ating bansa? O yung heroes na sa ano, mga mobile legend ang nakikilala natin? Mas memorize at natin yung mga hero sa mga sa mga online games kaysa sa mga heroes natin sa ating bansa. O mga kabataan. So remember, this is a sign of our national pride na kung anong nangyari sa atin ngayon, kung anong kagandahan ng buhay natin ngayon, ito'y galing sa kanilang pagsasakripisyo. Ito, ito'y galing sa kanilang, ito galing sa pagbigay nila ng kanilang buhay no? para sa ating bayan upang tayo'y maging malaya. Nung araw, ano tayo? Ilang beses tayong sinakop ng iba't ibang bansa nakikipaglaban ng ating mga bayani para lang tayo magkaroon ng magandang buhay sa ngayon. So, nung araw, iniisip nila ang kapakanan ng next generation. Tayo ngayon, iniisip man natin ang kapakanan ng next generation. So, this is a challenge to each one of us. Kaya, kailangan nating aralin kung ano yung mga nangyayari at mga kaganapan nung araw Paano nagsas- nagsakripisyo yung ating mga bayani para lang mabigyan tayo ng magandang kinabukasan sa ngayon? Nung araw, napakahirap mag-aral. Swerte lang siguro si Gato si Rizal na kapag-aral siya dahil nasa pamilya siya ng mga mayayaman. Pero kahit nga nasa pamilya siya ng mga mayayaman, mayroon pa rin discrimination. Kasi nung araw, talaga yung mga ibang lahi talaga yung top priority. Secondary lang tayo. Tinatawa nga tayo mga Indio nung araw. Kaya dapat nagpapasalama tayo sa kanilang sakripisyo. Kasi inilaan nilang kanilang buhay, dugo, pawis. No? At kanilang kinabukasan upang mabigyan tayo sa ngayon ng magandang buhay. 
Number 10 is love our family, our neighbors, and our compatriots. Love and help one another. That we, uh, that way, we are showing the world that we are proud to be Filipinos. Stand united. Do something to help each other and for the greater good for mother country. Love everyone and love our country as love ourselves. So itong pag-ibig natin, sabi pa ni Gat Andres Bonifacio sa tinubuang lupa, pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa, ito yun nagpapalakas sa atin na maging matapang at magkaroon tayo ng pagkakaisa upang labanan ang mga hamon sa buhay. Kahit napakaraming pagsubok man ang dinaanan ng ating bansa, kung tayo'y nagkakaisa, nag-uunawaan at nagtulungan, maaabot natin ang ating mga pangarap. Kailangan lang natin ang pag-ibig sa ating bayan. Kailangan natin ang pag-ibig sa ating kapwa. Kailangan natin ang pag-ibig at pagmamahal sa tinubuang lupa. Next, we have patriotism. Patriotism came from the Latin word pater, which means father. It is the willingness and determination to lay down one's life for the fatherland. The constant resolve to sacrifice one's life and limb for the preservation of the country. It is the total realization of that love for the country which is nationalism. In other words, to be patriotic is to be nationalist. How can one show their patriotism? Here are some ways you can show your patriotic pride. Number one, display your pride. This is the cheapest and easiest way to show your patriotism. However, bear in mind, you need to observe the proper way of showing your nationalistic pride. Hindi yung pride na sabon, hindi yung pride sa ating sarili na mapagmataas. Iba yon. Iba itong display of pride natin para sa ating bayan. Next, we have stay informed. Know what is going on in our country. Understand the concern and issues plaguing the society. Look at the issues, especially the problems from both sides. Stay objective and find the facts. Number three, learn about your country. Learn the history, culture, and influences of the place where you are born and lying in. Don't be ignorant about the heritage and legacy of our heroes and modern social movers. Number four, be proud of your country. Celebrate the diversity and uniqueness of the country. Highlight the good side of the country. Next, we have keep the environment clean. Ito yung palaging challenge sa atin. No one will take care and safeguard the country's resources but their own people. Make it last for the succeeding generations. Sana. Next, we have buy local. Support the local businesses and local products to better, to better boast the local producers like farmers, fishermen, etc. Ito din yung isa sa mga challenge natin. Bumili tayo ng sariling atin. Next, we have pay your taxes. Nagbabayad ba ng buwis? Contribute to the country's budget to create chains and development which shall be supported by paying the right amount of taxes. Challenge ito sa lahat. Kasi maraming 
tayo, marami sa atin ang hindi nagbabayad ng tamang buwis. Bato-bato sa langit, ang tama ay huwag magalit. Sana magbayad na kayo ng tamang buwis. Next, we have vote number 9. Uh, number 8, exercise your rights and participate in the government. Choose the leaders that could shape out country's direction and future. Bumoto ng tama. Bumoto na nakabase sa ating konsensya. Iboto ang tao mayroong pagmamahal sa kanyang bayan at nakikita natin ang integridad at hindi kurang. Next, number nine, keep the government honest. Don't tolerate corruption and red tape. Keep an eye out of any malpractice in the government and abusive government leaders and employee. Do not tolerate corruption. Pag may nakikita kang ganyan, kailangan mong umaksyon agad. Kaya ba natin? Kakayanin natin yan. Number 10. Volunteer. Get involved and advocate for worthless issues. Share your time and talent for a cause that could help the country. Mayroon pa ba sa atin ngayon yung tinatawag nating sense of volunteerism? Kahit nga yung konting pag ano lang, pag linis-linis lang sa ating bakuran, medyo mahirap sa atin. No? So challenge ito sa ating mga kapataan. Sana, we have to be agents of change in our society. Mag-volunteer tayo para sa kagandahan, kalinisan, at ikaaayos ng ating bayan. So, suportahan natin ang ating bayan sa kanyang mga programa. So, I hope, tulungan natin. Sikapin natin maging maganda yung kinabukasan ng ating bayan. Kasi, at the end of the day, kasama tayo niyan sa pag-unlad. Hindi lang ikaw, sa pamilya mo, pati yung bayan. At kapag umundad ang bayan, mas marami tayong ah, mas marami tayong aangat. Marami matutulungan. Next, we have personal development plan. Uh, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Do you have some plans about it? A personal development plan is suggested to help you to get there. 10 years from now, ano kaya mangyayari sa'yo? Saan ka kaya pupulutin? Of course, depende pa rin yan sa'yo. Kasi ikaw yung driver at nagtitimon sa iyong buhay. Kaya ayusin mo ang pagmamaniho sa buhay mo para mapunta ka sa tamang destinasyon. Kasi pag hindi mo maayos ang pagdadrive mo, baka hindi ka abot sa iyong destinasyon. Kung mayroon kang pangarap, magsikap ka. So, mayroon tayo mga suggested uh, personal development plan to help you para makapunta ka sa, ng tama sa gusto mong puntahan. So, according to Wilson 2012, in his book, Seven Simple Steps, Life Transformation Guide, he states that success requires an articulated goal. It is not a product of wishful thinking. Purpose will set the context and get you thinking about your life and what is important to you. This is your guide in preparing your own personal development plan by Wills. So number one, your true self. Ikaw, personal, sarili mo. Know your values, patterns, and beliefs make you also know where you need to. Kailangan, kilala mo yung sarili mo. Second, make it personal. You have to understand your personal characteristics and success to ignite, of course, others to success. Next, we have know your outcome. Plan your targets and set your goals to achieve it. Di ba, may target ka na Dapat 4 years from now, kasi your first year, dapat matatapos mo yung kurso mo. Dapat nakaset yan. 
uh, after after graduation dapat may another target ka na naman na kailangan makapagtrabaho ka within the span of one year after na naman yan kailangan maging manager ka maging regular, regular ka sa trabaho ganyan ang magsiset ng ano magsiset o mag know your outcome no? next number four we have design success set a perimeter to success how to start and when finish gaya niyang pag-answer pag natin sa mga modules natin pagbigay sa atin ng module, isiset mo na uh, pag-start na ito after 2 weeks, kailangan matatapos ko na yung pag-answer sa mga activity matatapos ko na gawin yung mga activity iset mo yung goal, iset mo yung target mo so, I, ano mo yun, i-design mo yung success mo kasi pagkatapos niyan, okay, relax ka na antay ka na naman ang next module kasi pag wala kang wala kang design sa success mahirap yan next we have harness the power determination is one of the keys to success make it as a habit until you get there huwag tayo maging lazy kailangan determinado tayo nag Pumasok tayo sa pag-aaral, determinado tayo makatapos, gawin natin kung anong dapat para makatapos. No? Huwag tayong huminto. Gawin nating habit ito hanggang maging successful tayo. Next, we have accept success. Be happy with all your achievements in life. Success is determined by your courage, so be thankful to it. Kailangan mag magpasalamat ka sa success mo. Kasi galing yan sa pagsisikap mo. Kasi galing yan sa lakas, katapangan, at pagiging determinado mo kaya na-achieve mo yan. Then, last is life is circular. Look forward for the future. Life is cycle. So make the best out of it. Kung ano yung pinaka-best na magagawa mo sa iyong buhay, gawin mo. Ako, suggestion ko, ugaliin mo maging mabuting tao. Kasi pag mabuting tao ka, talaga magiging successful ka sa laban mo sa buhay. Yan ang teknik, sikreto. Value means the regard that something is held to deserve. The importance, worth, or usefulness of something according to Merriam Dictionary. But it has a big impact on every man's life. Value gives people power to achieve his or her goal, respect the dignity of others, and can build a better person who aspires to become great and successful. People's values signify who you are, what you are, and who you are in the near future. It is with values that you can help others to develop and achieve their goal to success. We can also promote peace and camaraderie among all cultures. If this will be instilled in people's lives, peace, harmony, and development of self, others and country will be achieved. Train yourself to it and you can do great things. It ends our lesson tree for our module 1. I hope we have achieved our objectives. I hope you have understood the things that we discuss and apply it in your own personal lives. Sana may natutunan tayo sa discussion na ito at sana magamit natin ito sa ating sarili, sa ating pamilya, sa ating komunidad. God bless you. More power, stay safe, and practice and observe health protocols.